tiny figures performing some action are key to taking your watercolors to the next level. In today's video, we will be practicing a simple figure performing an action with a suitable background. Hi friends, I am Vanidas Mangathil and let us learn watercolors together. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell notification so that you get notified whenever I release new video. Without further ado, let us begin the video. I am using a cold pressed watercolor paper, a small size paper, uh, less than A4. Okay, And uh, I am making a very loose drawing first. It is just a line separating the sky and the land and a, a small figure okay when i when i'm drawing this small figure i'm just thinking of uh, a person walking uh, that is a kind of pose that i'm looking for and uh, probably his head is slightly looking down okay and one leg forward one leg backward and uh, some hand movement accordingly so here what we need to pay attention to is the overall proportion and little bit of the perspective that means if somebody is walking one leg will be forward one leg will be backward that is the kind of uh, considerations i am making and since he is walking uh, maybe we can make a small uh, a dog or something so that it is little interesting and some background so background is very loose maybe some dark color so that we get uh, the, the figure gets little more attention. So I am wetting the paper. Uh, maybe I am leaving the top portion of the figure and the rest, every, every area, I am wetting it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So if at all some water is, uh, uh, if it is bleeding down and if it is bleeding through the figure, you can lift it up with a tissue paper. Right. Now I think I have made the paper wet on the sky area and uh, let us do the wash now so the precise color is not important i am using a kind of a grayish kind of a blue you can use uh, i mean whatever color so usually for the background i suggest grayish blue little bit of purple uh, kind of a color okay see i want a crisp edge a sharp edge at the shoulder and head of the the figure so i am lifting of any water i mean on the human figure and uh, yeah little bit precise on the on the edge of the figure particularly the the head and shoulder part of it okay now i'm not really worried about the the background and the foreground separation part of it it is just maybe some brownish kind of a color for the foreground the land part okay and uh, yeah i think that's it we don't have to be very precise see it is not a complete full-fledged uh, artwork we are practicing human figures okay so these whatever wash we are doing now the background the foreground are just a kind of uh, context that we are preparing i feel uh, so the for the figure to be to get more contrast, we need the darker background. We need a darker background and I am adding a darker wash around the figure. Okay. Again, the color doesn't matter too much. If you don't have the same color, uh, you can use uh, any appropriate color. Okay. It, it should create a contrast around the figure. That is the overall, overall idea. And let us make the bottom of the paper also a little dark. And for some interest, I am splashing, splattering some water. Okay. What I am doing is I am dipping my finger into the water container and shaking off some water. And then I am splattering it on the paper. And then I am drying it with a hairdryer. You don't have to use the hairdryer. But uh, if you have time, if you can wait for it to naturally dry, that is the best. Once it is fully dry, let us paint uh, the human figure. So I am using an orangish yellow color for now because uh, I think for a purplish bluish background, orange yellow kind of a color will give good amount of contrast. And uh, let us make the lower body also, paint the lower body also. One leg is 
longer and the other leg is shorter because there is a leg movement he is not standing steady one leg is forward he is walking and uh, see for the backgrounds i have used a mop brush synthetic mop brush and for this detail work i am using a synthetic round brush and uh, it it is having a good point so what matters is uh, it should have uh, it should be a round pointed brush medium size round pointed brush uh, any brand i think i, I don't specifically uh, suggest or recommend any uh, any any brand a, a, a decent quality brush round brush synthetic round brush with a good point will do here i am directly painting the 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 shape of a dog and uh, maybe I, i may not be very good at this but uh, i am just trying it out uh, and uh, maybe it's walking okay and a tail probably yeah that's good enough now let us make the face neck and uh, the exposed body part using reddish orange kind of a color it's a little thick color okay yeah i think the face and neck and the the arms okay so here also we have to pay attention to the the perspective okay it is just a suggestion okay it is not very accurate way of doing it but within that suggestive approach we have to pay attention to the perspective the length relations according to the movement of the figure okay i think we are done with the figure the human figure and the dog and let us make the shadow now and for the shadow we are i am assuming the the light direction from the right from the uh, back side and the left side of the figure okay okay from the top right corner the light is coming maybe and uh, that is the that suggest the 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 shadow direction the direction of the shadow should be consistent same for the figure as well as the dog okay yeah i think i think it is pretty much done and uh, we can treat it as done i am reasonably happy with how it turned out uh the figure look convincing and the dog also looks uh, pretty okay okay now let us add some white highlight this white is a watercolor white picked up directly from the tube without adding water okay since the light source is from the top the shoulder and the top of the head will be a little highlighted and uh, yeah maybe you will get more highlight on his left hand side and little bit of highlight on the ears and maybe on the uh, on the face body of the dog also see the highlight uh, i mean creates more attention attraction to the figure okay and the dog and let us make some directional line uh, using again thick white watercolors see these are uh, some optional things to make it little bit more uh, to add some more depth to the overall scene that's it okay it is not very essential um, so i think this uh, video was informative to you thank you very much for watching this uh, throughout the video and uh, if you are liking it if you have any feedback please do write them into the comment box below uh, that will encourage me to create more of such videos and if you think it it will be helpful for your artist friends please share it to your artist friend so that they also will get benefited Finally if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do subscribe and press the bell notification uh, you will get notified whenever i release new video so thank you once again and we'll soon see you with another tutorial bye bye